In today's video, we're opening 100 packs of the new OTS 23. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. We have the new OTS tournament pack set to open up today. Before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away the Silent Swordsman from Flame Eternity, first edition. We have a Blackwing Dragon, first edition from Shining Darkness. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card coming out in this OTS 23 set. Let's get to opening, hopefully pulling all the ultimate rares in this video. All right, here we go. We have 100 packs today. There are only three cards per pack in these. There's some pretty cool supers in here. There's a Pulling the Rug super, which I'm excited about. There's Emergency, that's a pretty good one. We have a Watt Chimera, and we have a TG Hyper Librarian. I don't know if any of these commons are worth anything. I should probably look. It looks like none of the commons are over a dollar, but some of the supers are. The emergency is like 280, so that's actually pretty good right there. Let's see what this next pack can give us. Can we get an ultimate rare? Usually you get there's another emergency. I did shuffle these, by the way. They tend to come like kind of in an order. I shuffled them up a bunch, but even doing so, I probably am gonna have a couple in a row that are emergency. I could just pull random packs too as we go to help randomize it even more. We have a pulling the rug super. That's a cool one. I need to add this to my Edison deck. Right now I'm using the rare. Pretty cool. GD Crow, that's a nice common. It's been printed so many times now that it's no longer worth a dollar every time it's printed. All right, let's try this. Will this be another pulling the rug? Cause it was next to it. It's possible, it's likely. It's not. Super Every Samurai Motorbike, cool. TG1 EM1 and then Supreme King Dragon. Can we pull another motorbike? Okay, I switched it up and they were both motorbike. Interesting. I'm going to keep pulling from random spots. We are trying to pull the three ultimate rares. There's an Econ in here, Enemy Controller, which is pretty cool. So that'd be a nice pull. It's a throwback for sure. Ancient Sanctuary is the original print. Then we have a Kurikari card and a Big Welcome Labyrinth ulti. So those are the big three. These are not, this is not quite as hot of an OTS set. There's no like $100 ulti at the moment, but there are some pretty nice ones. So it's kind of like a, you know, a little bit mid, you know, but there are some cool cards that we want to pull. Uh, I definitely want the Econ. That's probably my favorite. Labyrinth Ku Clock. We have TGE and one and DD Crow. I mean, of course, it's a classic. It's an old school throwback. How could I not want to pull the Econ? Let's see. We have Dinomorphia intact. Cool. Spring King and TG1 EM1. What is our next one gonna be? We have Labyrinth Ku Clock. We have Shino Birds and the DD Crow. All right, the red one. I feel like we've had one that's like this exact same pack, like color. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it was like nine or no, nine might have been blue. I can't remember. It's been a while. TGX1. Are a lot of packs open today, but not too many cards. Only 300 cards, which is probably about the same as like a booster box, to be honest. There's another super right at the front. So we're looking for those ultis right away. Dynamorphia intact. Looks like we got a pulling the rug. Very nice. We want as many of those as possible. Those are like five bucks right now, thanks to Edison. Uh, I do need a couple for my side deck that I got to replace. The ones that I currently have, I think they have, is it Flaming Eternity rares? I, can't, I probably would be Flaming Eternity. I actually don't remember the exact set. No, Stun, sorry, Strike at Neos. I knew it was a, well, I guess Flaming Eternity is not red, but Fire is red, so, you know, Flaming kind of threw me off a little bit. It's kind of like yellow, isn't it yellow? I think that's what Flaming Eternity color is. Yellow-ish, at least. We have Soul of the Supreme King. Still no uh, ultimate rares at all yet. Also, uh, today, when you guys are seeing this, it's the day before Rarity Collection release. So tomorrow, we should have Rarity Collection opening. So if you're super excited for new Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Rarity Collection is going to be insane. We should be doing an opening tomorrow, the next day, a case opening Friday, and then we are going to be opening on Saturday until we pull every card. At least we're going to go until we either pull every card or we run out of product, but I think that there's a good chance we could get all of them. I bought a lot, so we're opening for a very long time, pulling the rug again, very nice, on Saturday. Rarity Collection, trying to get every version of every card. There's seven versions of 80 cards. That's what, 560 cards, something like that? I, or maybe it's 79 cards, it's something, 500 something different variants. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty insane. So I'm super pumped for that. And also uh, I've been listing stuff on my regular website, ruxin34.com, not just box breaks. Uh, I've got some PSA cards on there. I got a few other cards, uh, got a few boxes available because uh, guess what? Rarity Collection was not cheap. So if you want to help me out, support me, you don't just have to donate money, you can go buy something. So go check out my website, ruxon34.com. I'm gonna be adding more and more stuff to there. I think I'm gonna be putting Rarity Collection singles up there instead of TCG players. So I might be using my website a little bit more because uh, obviously the fee is a lot less. I mean, TCG is like a 13% fee. If I use my website, I just have to take PayPal fee or whatever. Uh, so it's a big, big uh, increase in terms of the percentage I'm losing or a decrease, I should say, percentage I'm losing. So I might start using my website a little bit more. I just haven't done it as much because it takes a little bit longer to do. 
but go check that out. Keep an eye on Ruxin34.com. Still haven't pulled an ulti, by the way. And there will be some cool stuff coming up there. Hopefully some uh, Ash Blossoms that we pull in the Rarity Collection opening. I'm super pumped for that stream. Not to mention just opening Rarity Collection in general, because it has, it seems like it's a pretty epic set. It's going to be fun. Uh, the question is, what happens to all those cards that now have seven new printings? They probably are worth zero on the other printings, but you know, that's just how it works these days with Konami. It's going to get printed into the ground a lot of things. So it's like a good, it's mostly a good set. I'm a little worried about if they keep doing these sets, like if they do Rarity Collection constantly, all the cards are going to be like really cheap after that. So it's like a, it's an interesting balance. So I'm excited for it though. I mean, it's going to be super fun. Definitely going to enjoy this set while it's here. Not going to think about the repercussions. We're just going to keep going. We're just not going to worry about it. <laughs> I probably will think about it, but okay, Kook Lock. Uh, we still haven't pulled an ulti. I think hopefully we open like 30 something packs. It's usually about one every 16 to 17 packs you get one. So I'm hoping that that will be the case and we will get one very soon. And while we're opening a little bit, not necessarily a longer video, but uh, if you guys haven't checked out Poker Rocks, I know I've said it a million times. I know if, you, if you're tired of it, I'm sorry guys, but Poker Rocks has been doing really well recently and I just, I'm just happy for it. I'm happy that it's doing well. I'm excited about it. So we had a video come out recently. I think we got like 7K views, which is like really awesome. For that channel best is we got a 55k view video but i don't think that's gonna happen very often usually it's more of like a 600 view video so uh if you guys haven't seen it yet you like pokemon challenge stuff go check it out and uh, also twitch we stream live so we're doing that stuff live if you want to come hang out there's a few dedicated viewers that like to be there you can even get pokemon named after you if you want back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, we still have a lot of packs and Yu-Gi-Oh has not given us an ultimate rare yet which is a little scary because that's kind of the money in this set is the ultimate rares after that, it's like uh, pulling the rug is the best card, which is $5, which is, I mean, really crazy good for a super rare, to be honest. But we definitely want to get some multis there. And right now, I decided just to go in order, and it seems like I've shuffled them all to the end, I hope. And there's not, you know, we're not just missing them in this case, which would be pretty bad. Okay, we have a Dynamorphia intact. I feel like we pulled that like a million times, which means we probably pulled all of them. We'll pull another one the rest of the way. Uh, Ku Clock, same thing with that one. We've got to be at least halfway done. There's usually five or even six ultis in these boxes, and we have not pulled one yet. So I'm going to be nervous until we pull that very first one. I'm going to be like, uh, are they in here? <laughs> are we going to get anything? I hope that we are because it's kind of a big deal if we get those or not. We have Supreme Kit. A lot of traps in the Super Rare slot. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ultimate Rares, you still here? You still working? Okay. Um, maybe not. The thing is, there's 95 other packs, so we could technically open or 94 if we get six. You could open 94 packs in a row and not get one and then just get six in a row. It's possible. The chances are pretty low, very low, I would say. I don't know what the exact math is on that, but probably extremely unlikely, but it's possible. It is something that can happen. And right now it is looking more and more like that might happen right now. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried, but don't worry, guys. You just got to believe. There we go. Pulling the rug. I think we only have like three or four of those. So hopefully there's a lot more in the end of this. The thing with these is there's usually big bunches of them. And sometimes you'll get like 19 of one and like one of another one. It's pretty weird. So we've got more than one pulling the rug. So that's good. But I hope we don't get the lower end number. I'd be great if we get 19. But I don't think we're going to at this rate. Wow, this is uh, this is concerning for sure. Let's just let's just keep believing there's a pulling the rug. That's great. That is not concerning. I love to see those. Okay, come on. Okay, TG. More TG stuff. What's up with TGs right now? Are TGs, somebody tell me in the comments, is there a chance TGs actually are decent with all this new support or are they just giving support to, uh, you know, old archetype and it's not going to be any good? Because, I mean, TG hasn't been good in a while. Has it ever been good? Oh, thank goodness. All right, we finally got an ulti. Our first ulti. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty beautiful looking card. Big Welcome Labyrinth looks really nice. That looks amazing. Okay, Ultimate Rare. That is centered and everything quality on this card looks really good it looks like they've okay maybe there's a couple of dots on the back which is not the best but i'd rather it be like here than like the edges like turning like they were in ots 19 and 20 it feels like they've definitely turned it around since those this looks a lot better so there i mean there's a little bit going on with the back but still pretty nice condition so we have gotten an ulti so we're not going to get an ulti list box which is really nice and we are down to this amount of packs which is still a lot it's probably like 30 or 40. hard for me to really guess i'm terrible at, at guessing this pulling the rug beautiful i would love to see many more of you i think we're up to like six or seven of those here we go we have another pulling the rug let's go we hit the pulling the rug the little pod of pulling the rugs give us another one Okay, Emergency, that's the second best card. We'll take it. That is beautiful. Okay, Ogdoidic Remnant. I haven't seen that card. Wait, are, aren't these all reprints though? Or are there sometimes new? I feel like they're always reprints in OTS. I don't know. Maybe it was a common before and I just didn't notice it. Come on. All right, so we've gotten Labyrinth, which is actually the worst one. Not by much. They're all kind of in the same area. 
uh, but it is one of my favorites. I do like the Big Welcome Labyrinth, that and the Econ. Uh, the the Kara Curry Adivan Card Cardente or whatever, isn't that a Dawn of Majesty card? Hmm. I feel like it is. Huh. I don't remember what set that. I'm pretty sure it was Dawn of Majesty, but I could be wrong. Uh, Rescue Ace Preventer. We are still looking for a second ulti. This one I don't really necessarily. Oh, there we go. Okay, another one of the worst ones, but hey, we'll take it. Back on this one looks even more clean. There's a couple of dots on each of them, but honestly, it's still pretty near mint. Very good. Two big welcome labyrinth. The worst one we've gotten twice, but it's only the worst by a couple dollars. And I'm not even clicking into like the lowest listing, so it could be actually not the worst by that much. So pretty okay. Let's see. We have E emergency call. Just kidding. Different emergency. Emergency exclamation point on this one. Next, we have a rescue ace preventer. So far, it's been all labyrinth okay that's pretty interesting can we get another ulti the trident launcher can we get one an econ i do want one econ at least that'd be pretty cool econ's an awesome card it's you know it the time time cannot get make econ not useful it's just completely immune to time it's always comes back as a decent card no matter what it is dual links irl actual Yu-Gi-Oh! Meta. It came out in 2004 and it's still awesome. I like how we're getting two of the same commons half the time. TG cards, Watt cards. This is not the most exciting set, I'm not gonna lie. TG and Watts. I mean, if you're a fan of TGs or Watts, let me know in the comments, but I've never really cared about those archetypes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Except we do have the One Piece guy. We have the One Piece guy here. Though I have stopped at episode 300. <laughs> I've been stuck at episode 310 actually for quite a while. Yeah, because everyone said, oh, this is one of the best parts. And I watched it and I was like, this is kind of mid. So if this is one of the best parts, I'm kind of in trouble because if this is mid to me, what's the rest going to be like? You know, so I just stopped. <laughs> so I didn't really like it that much. So yeah, I'm sorry, One Piece fans. I know I'm going to be offending a lot of people there because even though this part with this guy, it's pretty clutch. But I was like, man, I don't know if I can sit through 700 episodes and I haven't like really loved it that much. You know what I mean? 700 new episodes. I have not watched the IRL one either. I know people have asked me that. We're still at two ultis. We're actually down to like 20 packs. So this is getting worrisome. Come on, let's turn it around right here. Turn around right here. Labyrinth Kukla. Okay, Rux and Special on picking up the packs. Rux and Special picking up packs. Oh my gosh, how is this possible? This is it. This is everything. We have two ultis. Oh my Gosh, this is bad. Oh no. Oh no. Do we get some kind of error box? Uh, econ? Anybody? Enemy controller? You want to show up? Maybe? Oh no. Oh no. Look at this. We are down to the nitty gritty at the end. Rarity collection, treat us better than this, please. That's all I'm asking. Rarity collection, please don't do this to us. Don't do whatever this, whatever's happening right now, don't do it. We have Dynamo. Oh my gosh, I don't feel good about this at all. I don't feel good about this at all. Oh man, is this another? Oh, thank goodness. Enemy controller. That's just a sigh of relief right there. I was. Okay, back's pretty clean on this. That's a beautiful card. Enemy controller. Look at that foiling. Oh my gosh, this is a banger right here. That's beautiful. Okay, so now. This is all we got right now, which is, I mean, this is my two favorites out of the three, so I'll take that. But there's only 10 backs left. All right, maybe 10, maybe a little bit more than 10. I don't know. We got to count. Yeah, a little bit more than 10. All right, we, the only one we don't have is the Kara Curry, which, I mean, I'd be cool with getting all three, especially since it's the most expensive. Let's see. Super happy. We are officially down to six, nine, 11. Okay, then we'll have 10 left after this one. 10 left after this one. We have three ultis pulled, which is not good. That is low. That is very low. It's usually five or six. Oh, there we go. We saved them all for the end. The Karakari? Kar I always say Karakari. Karakari? Kurakari. Is that how you say that? Kurakari? I'm saying it backwards. Divan Kar... Divan... I always just say Divan Karte. That's not right. Divan Karnate. Kurakari Divan Karnate? I think that's how you would say it. I don't know. Let me in the co know in the comments because I've definitely been saying it wrong. Okay. Okay. I can sigh of relief. We've gotten all, all three of them. One more and we're at least at the ratio. And then I'm, I can be happy. Woo. That was, was quite nerve wracking, but we are alive, guys. I was really worried we were going to end up with like a two ulti box there for a second. A five ulti would be fantastic. I would take another econ. I really don't care. Just any of the three. I'm happy. I'm happy with any of the three. TG Star Guardian. We are down to six packs left. Of course we are. Of course we are without the ratio. It always comes down to the end. Emergency call, which is not the right card. It's e it's just emergency. I just I just love to say emergency call for some reason. I love to say the wrong name of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's a kind of a thing that I love to do. Okay, we have Super Heavy Samurai. We're down to four packs. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Okay, three packs. All right, three packs left, everyone. Who's excited? EOTS 23. Come on. 
Who's excited for Rarity Collection, though? Let me know right now in the comments. Because that's going to be crazy. All right. We have Soul. Oh, my gosh. Two packs left. Why does this happen every time? Someone tell me why. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have Rarity Collection coming tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be one of the most fun sets to open of all time. <sighs> Let's start off with a good note and get something right here. Even though it's not Rarity Collection. Come on. Oh, it's the last pack magic. Oh, we have four ulties. This is not good. Oh, it's... 99 packs opened. We are one ulti short. Does that mean that we got it or did we get shorted one? It's likely we got shorted one. Let's find out. It's going to be right here at the front. So I'm going to keep the suspense. Wait, do we? I don't remember. I think we flipped it around. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Okay, come on. Let's just, let's just do that. Okay, three cards. Last pack magic, please. Fifth ulti. Supreme King, we need something. Ouch! That's rough. That is a rough box. But hey, at least we got one of each ulti. That's fine. We have Rarity Collection coming up. That will make up for it. Right? I hope so. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu Guine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.